हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अंकित एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हियर अगेन विद माय डेली एनालिसिस फॉर गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर एंड फर्स्ट वील लुक इनटू गोल्ड फॉलोड विद सिल्वर विद द हेल्प ऑफ कैंडलिस्टिक चार्ट्स एंड इंडिकेटर्स विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द ट्रेडिंग स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर द डे द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द मार्केट्स द एंट्रीज द एग्जिट्स एंड द ट्रेक प्रॉफिट एज वेल डू लिसन टू इट केयरफुली डू वॉच टिल दी एंड एंड डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन The next analysis on gold will be up just before the U.S. gas session, along with the other markets, and uh, including Dow Jones and Nasdaq. So do watch that also. Now let's start the day with gold first. Gold trading at eighteen thirty two levels, trading below the critical resistance at eighteen thirty six, and the most important resistance at eighteen forty. Now what is going to happen today? Let's have a look. Yesterday with the Fed, gold has seen a high at eighteen forty and low at around eighteen fifteen. It failed to go past the critical resistance there at eighteen forty, and at the same time got the support on the downside from eighteen eighteen and eighteen fifteen levels. Now, if you look at these hourly charts, it is trying to reverse the trend again and trying to trade with a drop again. If you see it trading below eighteen thirty, yes, you can go short for eighteen twenty four and then eighteen twenty level. Now look at this. 1820 is the next support level which it may try to achieve today before it looks forward to any further rise so i'll be watchful of that so first target 1824 next 1820 and yes you can remain short only till the time it is below 1836 levels till the time it is below 1836 you can remain short the target is going to be 1824 and 1820 levels below that yes it can drop more and if you look at this see it is trading around this pivot if you look at the highs there If you look at the lows there, there is still a scope for it to drop from around 1820 to 1840, and then from 1820 to 1800 levels. So yes, there is a possibility that it can trace more. But be watchful of the levels at 1836. No, or rather, don't remain short above 1836 levels. And there is a little resistance at 1840. Let's see if it passes by. Oscillator there is in buy zone. The direction movement is bullish. The MACD is green here and trying to converge from here. Let's see if it crosses over and trades in red. RSI looking downwards from here and stochastic looking downwards here too. Similarly, if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts, if you look at the charts, see the resistance there at eighteen thirty six is strong. Then eighteen forty is strong top of the Bollinger Bands and then here at eighteen forty. 244 zone so these two zones these three numbers are definitely going to remain important look at this also three candles getting the resistance there so after 1840 there is possibility that it can try to hit 1845 however my expectation that probably it can retrace back a bit on the downside let's be watchful of that above 1836 do not remain short that is clear Direction uh, oscillator there again trading in a bullish zone or buy zone it is crossed over it is trading bullish here the directional movement is in buy side the macd is green it is trying to converge the rsi is looking downwards and the stochastic is looking downwards too similarly if you look at the 3 hr charts on the 3 hr charts we have seen this we have seen higher highs we have seen lower lows the pivot right now here at around 18 Twenty-seven, twenty-eight zone, and below that we may see a little more fall till towards eighteen twenty-four and eighteen twenty levels. Be watchful of these levels. Eighteen twenty-two is definitely a very strong support. Below that again, it will try to drop till towards eighteen ten and eighteen hundred levels. The oscillator they are trading bearish, and it is trying to converge and cross over for a bullish move. Directional movement is still in buy zone. And if you look at the MACD, the MACD is white divergent, and it is still bullish on the three-hour charts. And RSI, if you look at RSI, is comfortable there, but sloping downwards. And stochastic is looking upwards, indicating little bullishness there. If you look at the four-hour charts, on the four-hour charts, look at these two candles. See here, this candle indicates that the bulls are not yet in charge there. However, it has achieved higher highs before it looks forward to the retracement. Now. Yes, you can go short there at eighteen thirty. Possibly, we may see it hitting eighteen twenty four, eighteen twenty, and then below that, there could be a further fall till towards eighteen zero five and eighteen hundred levels. But do not remain short above eighteen thirty six level. That should be the stop loss above eighteen thirty six. You can again expect eighteen forty, eighteen forty five levels, and below eighteen thirty. Yes, you can go short there. And if you look at the Oscillator, they are trading in a negative zone. However, trying to converge and cross over, the directional movement is bearish. The MACD has just crossed over three candles back, and it is divergent here. 
requires few more red candles for it to converge and cross over for a sell entry rsi is looking downwards and stochastic is still looking upwards now if you look at the daily charts see on the daily charts one must observe that previous candle has achieved higher highs and it is trying to reverse back a bit how far it can go it can again come back to uh, the levels at 1824 and 1820 before it looks over to any reversal and yes if it reverses beyond 1836 go long then we can see a sharper green candle too there is a possibility that see markets these are markets and we have the day is just started so those who think that it cannot go either ways are wrong market never trades in one direction it always swings a bit throughout these 24 hours maybe the europe session may bring it down or the europe session may bring it up then the us gas session may bring it down anything is possible so these are markets do not remain unidirectional it swings either ways if you fail to understand this you will never be able to trade because i am getting more comments that why i why do i say that it can trade above this why do i say that it can trade below that you you have to understand that markets always swing in direction it cannot or it will not remain unidirectional throughout these 24 hours since this video is released so be careful while taking the position let i'll give you the levels for today just be here with me for the day now look at this it has achieved higher highs the pivot here at 1820 and 1825 levels and if you look at this the previous two candles on the daily charts lower lows already done previous candle was almost flat here so first thing is only long entry is above 1836 that is very clear now if you look at the oscillator they are still trading in red see the candle size is increasing here on the negative side so be watchful there directional movement is bearish the MACD is still bearish and this is the third red candle and hence there is more bearishness there RSI trading flat and the stochastic see stochastic was oversold now trying to look upwards one thing is clear that above 1836 we have not to remain short above 1836 my target is 1840 1845 1850 which is the pivot again see if you recall my weekly analysis i told around 1850 as pivot it may try to swing either ways but before doing that even if it is trade it has to trade bullish see what it is trying to do if it has to achieve higher highs it has to create a tail for the day it may create a tail and then it may try to reverse that is a possibility which exists that for next few hours it may try to create the tail there achieve till towards 1820 1818 levels 1818 you should watch out for and then reverse from there the larger the tail there throughout this day the stronger will be the bullish move if it reverses in case if it reverses above 1836 so be watchful of that and it will also decide if it drops and get the support from 1818 1820 zone and try to reverse and again if it crosses 1836 it will give you very sharp green candle that is also very much possible below 1818 we can expect see below this pivot here at 1818 we can expect it to drop more and how far it can go it can go back till towards 1800 levels be watchful of that and take your positions accordingly only long entry above 1836 and if you want to go short you can go short here at rather one can remain short right now and one can expect it to hit 1827 1824 1818 levels below 1818 we may see a good fall till towards 1812 1808 and 1800 levels so watch out for these key levels and take your trades accordingly always trade with a stop loss always trade with a trailing stop loss such that in case of a reversal your trades close in green take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at silver for silver i told in my weekly analysis also 2190 is a level it this is the pivot around which silver has traded so far now with that as pivot it is trying to drop again the and now i'll be looking forward for it to break past 2160 if it drops below 2160 again go long short for 2150 2140 and then 2120 levels remember 2140 and 2150 is going to be a very strong support zone before it looks forward to any further drop there so i'll be watchful of this that oscillator they are trading bullish directional movement is bullish the stop the macd is trying to converge and cross over here for a sell entry the rsi is looking downwards on the hourly charts the stochastic is looking downwards also and if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts if you see see two 
higher highs higher lows and this time it is going to drop so possibly it is trying to reverse back a bit and from here we may see a little more red candles which may try to bring it till towards 2150 and 2140 levels so go short at 2160 levels one can expect a little drop only long entry i will recommend is about 2180 levels so if it trades about 2180 go long for the day else it may try to drop a little now look at the oscillator there oscillator is trading bullish directional movement is bullish here and the MACD is trying to converge here and cross over the RSI is looking downwards the stochastic is trading flat similarly if you look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts you will find that it is giving you higher lows higher highs so be watchful of this if it trades below 2160 there go short here then one can expect 2150 2140 levels in fact it can if it drops below 2140 the drop is going to be sharper which may bring it till towards 2120 and 2100 which is a very strong support also one must not forget on the upside it is getting the resistance here from 2190 levels which is a very strong pivot there and if you look at the oscillator is bullish here the directional moment is bullish here the MACD is trading in green and it is divergent indicating bullishness there RSI is trading flat here and if you look at the stochastic this is still near to overbought levels now look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts see these two candles flat head then the bulls failed to take the charge and it dropped here now this is also getting support here from the downside at around 18 2160 levels once it draws below 2160 go short there for 2150 and 2140 levels it can come back here get the support here and then be watchful how it trades because see first thing is it is on the long run it is trying to trade in this channel so uh, this is almost at the top of the channel and trying to get the downward pressure from there so possibly it can drop a bit from here and be watchful of 2140 levels below 2140 specifically we can see a little more drop and yes be mindful be watchful of 2190 levels trading about 2190 there is a sure rise so do not trade between 2160 to 2190 levels for sure about 2190 there could be a certain rise which can be expected now look at the oscillator they are coming to bullish zone this is the first candle and directional movement is still bullish but trading with a narrow gap the MACD has crossed over and it is trading bullish it is divergent RSI trading flat and stochastic is near to top near to overbought levels now look at the daily charts see on the daily charts just observe this and if you look at this you will find that it has achieved the highs there and probably if it only if it breaks past 2190 that is the only long entry and beyond that yes you can expect bullishness today else it is going to drop again possibly it may come back till towards 2140 2120 levels so my expectation that probably we can see a retracement again on the downside till the time it trades below 2190 i'll expect it to drop but take a short entry at 2160 and then one can remain short the oscillator there is in a bearish territory the directional movement is bearish also the MACD if you look at it is also in cell but trying to converge and cross over today's red candle will make it diverge again the RSI trading flat here and the stochastic is looking upward so in some go short at 2160 levels expect 2150 2140 2140 is a very strong support for silver below that we may see 21 20 levels and below that you can expect a sharper drop on the upside only long entry i will recommend is about 2190 levels which is going to be a very strong resistance for the day about 2190 one can remain long for 2200 2220 levels so take your trades accordingly take your positions accordingly keep trading with always a, a trailing stop loss and also if you do not put a trailing stop loss at least shift your stop loss to cost whenever because these are markets it can swing either ways uh, and if you are having a courage if you are having a money in account you can eliminate a stop loss such that it should not kill your stop loss and then again move keep moving in your direction take your trades accordingly do not stick to bias do not think that if i think it is going to go long it is going to go long if it i think it is going to drop it is going to market never bothers what do you think so trade accordingly 
join my mentorship badge join my telegram channel join my vip singles group reach out to me for more details and please refrain from any fake channels or fake individuals asking to you money in cryptos or trading in cryptos or any other thing reach out to me confirm to me my telegram id and my email id are mentioned in the channel and video description watch those link and please speak to me before doing any payment thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you